Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. I hope you're doing okay. I have been very busy. I have dog sat for the last two weeks for one dog, and then right before that I was dog sitting two dogs. So I have a break for a couple of weeks, and um, then I have to sit another dog. Then I'm going camping, and then dog sit again the end of July. But I had met one of my subscribers, Dale, and we had talked about going camping, so we're going to try to go camping in July. And yes, I know it's going to be hot, so we're preparing for that. I don't think I'm going to take Gizmo. She's not going to take her dog because of the heat. So we're going to leave them in good hands, of course. But I also had reached out to a, another van lifer, uh, Vivian's Van Lifing Adventure, and uh, ask her about meeting up for lunch one day, so we're going to do that too. So I'm looking forward to it. So I'm trying to get things ready for camping and ready to dog sit again. So it's just been really busy. But I did go to the discount store and thrift store, so I want to show you what I picked up. Now this was at the discount store. These are eight 32 by 17 inch eco hair towels and they were 50 cents some will put this in with my camping supplies i picked up some hand sanitizer and they're either two ounce bottles or four ounce bottles they were 24 for a dollar you got a case for a dollar so i thought it would be good to put in the car or to um put in the blessing box so i got those and I also got this, and don't laugh, it's kraut. I like kraut, but I don't like it that often, and when I eat it, I want it that day, and I don't want it left over. So my aunt's the same way, she likes it too. So I saw these, and they're little individual packs. They were 18 for $1.99. So I got those, and they're good to put in my camping supplies too. And let's see, what else did I get at the thrift store? Oh yeah. I bought this new Hot Logic Mini. I had heard people talking about it, and so I thought, well, I'll try it. It's five dollars, and from my understanding, it works basically like a slow cooker. So I thought, well, five dollars, I'll, I'll give it a try. I got that, and I got this Eddie Bauer bag. Um, at the thrift store. This I got um, a while back, but I don't think I showed it to you. But it's got two pockets in it, and it was new. 99 cents, it was new. So what I did was put my underwear in here. got socks and underwear in here to put in my camping supplies. So I bought that, and then I'm trying to think. I think that was all the thrift store. I went to Dollar Tree and bought these these were a dollar and a quarter each and they're disposable washcloths and they both have 18 in them and they are both let's see 12 by 8 inches so i just got two of each thought i'd try and see if i like them just to you know wipe off during the day when you're camping got those and i think that's it no got this i went out today and got this I was thinking about how hot it's going to be, and you know I've got fans, but I had saw someone using this, and they had them at Roses for $12.99. You put ice water in it, and then the fan blows that uh, cooling air onto you. It says it has an air filter in it, it's a humidifier, has seven different colors of LED light, and you charge it or run it off a of USB. And it says it's got three settings on it. So I thought for $12.99 I would try it. The lady that checked me out said that she um, had one and she said it does look good, or work good rather, in small spaces. So we'll see, see if it works. Put some ice water in it and see. I think that was all. And I like things neat, and so I've been trying to figure out how to condense more and neaten up more. So, I had my electrical cords in this, 
And I want to say that I paid, I think, 99 cents for it at the thrift store. That wasn't working for me. I didn't like it. So I had seen someone take their cords and put them in Ziploc bags. So I had some bags laying around, so I thought, well, why not? So I just went through, put them in bags, and then I put them in here. And so I've got my, uh, what do you call it, battery packs for your phone. I've got a uh, Mophie, and then I've also got a Realtree, which is solar charged also, as well as USB. So if I have to use it, I use the this one first, since it's solar charged, and then I can charge it in the sun, and then I use the Mophie. This one came from Walmart here. This one came from Big Lots. The one from Walmart was, the Mophie was, I want to say, I think it was $25. I've had them for a while. And the one from Big Lots, the real tree, was $15. So, that neatens everything up, makes it easier to find. And then I have magnets that I use uh, to put up some uh, mesh to keep mosquitoes out, put it on my windows. I had saw Bob Wells do that, and I thought, well, I'm going to try that. And uh, I've used it the last couple times, and it does work. And so I used that, and uh, just what I bought was... I know you've seen them on TV, the mesh screens that you put over your patio door and then you walk through it and they show the magnets clapping back together. And so at Rose's, the $4.99. So just bought those and cut them to fit. And I've got some magnets out in my car. I'm gonna put them in here so I can keep up with them. And then of course, I have this for dry food. Let's see, got my food in here. And then I just pick up fresh vegetables later. So that's my dry food. And let's see, what else have I got? The porta potty. You know, I've got one of those collapsible porta potties. I bought it off of Amazon. I think it was. I used to gift certificate my son gave me, and I want to say it was uh, between twenty and thirty dollars. And it works okay, but. When you get up in the middle of the night, to me, it seems like it's not steady enough. You have that fear of falling off. And so I watched several YouTubers, and they had either put them in an ottoman or build a box around them. So I thought, hmm, I've got this ottoman that's right behind me. And... It's a storage ottoman my daughter gave me for Christmas several years ago. See? And what I did, I don't know how well you can see it, is I put the porta potty down in here. I put the trash can down here, which is popcorn tin with a lid on it. And I've got horse pellets that I use. I put in Ziploc bags, a cup in there, and then I put a trash bag in with them. So if I have to use it, then I can, until I can find somewhere to dispose of it, I can take that, tie it up, put it in here, and put some fresh in there. So, and then I can keep my toilet paper stuff around in there too. Plus, I'll have a seat. So, I think that'll work. We'll see. And then I'm trying to get straight back up here. Let's see. I wanted to show you some mail that I received. And this is from David. And David is in. Uh, Kansas. I'm trying to make sure I'm like I'm missing something. I'm trying to get everything here. He sent this card. Hey David, tell your mom I said hello. Two of these bookmarks. Some stickers. Pot holder. And a couple of towels that one, and this one, and he also sent a little metal, um, well, I don't know where I put it, he sent a little metal, um, 
oh, what do you call it, bookmarker, you know, they put over the pages. It's here, David. I just, and all this stuff, I've laid it down. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> but it is here. I just had it in my hand. I don't know where I put it. That's what I was looking for. So anyway, thank you. All right, guys. I'm going to get off here, clean this mess up, see about getting some lunch, which I think is going to be a salad today. And um, that's going to do it for today. I'll try to hop on in the next week or so again. And I want to be working on my van. I had thought about changing my bed around and putting it. You know, I talked about getting the legs cut. And then I talked about, I thought about building a bed and putting it right behind the driver and passenger seat. But had, instead of having it run long ways like this, have it this way, right behind the seats. I measured, and that would be, 65 inches, which is how tall I am, and then I could make it 38 inches wide. Right now, my bed is 24 by 7, or 27 by 72, 26, 27, something like that. So I really would like to have the extra length, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get that done before I go camping this time. It'll probably be just throwing the same bed back in. But that's just a thought, because you get out there, and, and if you've camped in a van, you know what I'm talking about. You you change it this way, and then that doesn't work, and you change it this way. And nine times out of ten, you wind up going back to the original design anyway. So, we'll see. All right, guys, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Later.